Hey friends, Peggy Hall back with you from the healthyamerican.org. I'm recording this on a Friday and on Fridays, I'd like to close out the week with something a little more lighthearted. I'm not sure if you could call what I'm about to share with you lighthearted, but it is a video from 1985. So that's going on almost 40 years. And it's so interesting because it is a precursor pretty much to what a lot of us are uh, facing now. And actually we're disturbed by what is coming into our future. So let me just share with you this image and let me know if you have heard this video. It is called, uh, Kathy, don't go to the supermarket today. And before I share that with you, I want to give you just a little bit of background as to what I found. And it's by a group, a little known group called Heaven's Magic. And apparently this is some type of uh, musical group for a, let's just put it a religious group, maybe a religious cult, as the media calls it. I don't have any evidence that it is, but it is kind of, you know, creating a little bit of buzz in the truther movement. So I'm reading from a website that says this is a short lived 1980s hit with a catchy beat and a catchy chorus. Kathy, don't go to the supermarket today. It is the, uh, It appeared on the only album of an unknown band called Heaven's Magic. Typical of this decade, right? The 80s, if you were alive, you know, it was a great decade. Features uh, young people of good quality in all respects who are immersed in a dystopian atmosphere. So a young girl is dissuaded from going to the supermarket where strange things are happening. All right, let me play this for you. And the reason why it caught my attention is because, you know, back a couple of years ago when they didn't want anybody going to the supermarket unless people were participating in, how do I put it? Another kind of religious cult called cooties. Yes. I think the government forgot about the first amendment to the constitution where they're not supposed to create a religion, but a religion was created. And there's all sorts of rituals associated with that religion. I don't know, like suffocating yourself, undergoing a nasal schwab assault, becoming a human pincushion, all of those rituals that are associated with this other type of religion that the government has ushered in. So, uh, Without further ado, let's take a listen to Kathy, don't go to the supermarket today. Okay, I just have to interrupt because remember when they were pointing everything at the foreheads, they wanted to also take your temperature because don't you know that fevers are apparently contagious. And I also, you probably saw the 666 that was there as well. And the lyrics say, without your computer ID, you won't be able to purchase. I also wanted to interrupt so that there will be no copyright infringement if I'm playing too many minutes of uh, content at a time. So let me continue. Of course, the suffocation device has to make an appearance. This is almost 40 years ago, friends. They won't let her pay with cash. Did you notice? Mm-hmm. 
All right, we'll end it there and I can leave a link for you if you would like to see the original content. Let me know if you ever saw that video, if you have other videos like this to share. And I did want to let you know that, oh my gosh, a couple of years ago, one of the few stores that I could shop in, and you know, hashtag never have, never will, I never complied with any of the hogwash that was sloshed all over us. I was able to shop at Whole Foods of all places. And I do remember that they had the option to pay with your palm. And I asked the clerk, how many people are using that? And he said, no one is using it. I've also heard of these completely cashless automated places like at airports and in cities where they have Amazon stores, where you just walk in and apparently your cell phone is being scanned. And as you walk out, everything that you bought is just being deducted from your Apple wallet, I suppose. I don't do any of that. And I've spoken on this channel before about the importance of paying with cash. I will have another video for you coming up all about why it's important to pay with cash. And it is up to each one of us to fight this individually. And paying with cash, I don't think cash ever is really going to go away. I've done videos as to why that is, but paying with cash, banking in person, uh, not doing the Apple wallet, paying with your phone, all of these actions are things that we can do individually to stand up against the tyranny and oppression. All right, friends, thanks for being on board. Have a great weekend, and I look forward to seeing you again soon.